All right, hey guys, I'm here on a street corner in New York City, uh, right near my home, and I'm talking to a client, and he's going through uh, a situation. Why don't you tell me what it is? Uh, well, if I try to approach a girl, I, uh, I, I feel like I have, I'm, I'm, I have negative energy or uh, she uh, does not respond well and I'm talking about multiple uh, multiple attempts that the yeah. were not fruitful. I mean, it, yeah, when you say not, wait, awkward. hold on. Yeah, uh, it felt awkward to you. I, it felt awkward to me and they and they, didn't, they didn't tell I, you they loved you? They, that's not it. They didn't respond well. Or, yeah. Uh, Did anyone punch you? My, did anyone punch you? No, they didn't. Kick you? No. Call the cops on you? No. Uh, yell out for their boyfriend to save them? No. None of that happened. So that's good. So now we're just at a level like one. Not, okay. It's not level level five like bad thing. Okay. All right. So now we're back down to level one. Uh, normal normal guy situation is called, right? Uh, so basically, we're gonna, first we need to start, we need to change the beliefs about it. Because the truth is, is uh, you're a good looking guy. Uh, you're well dressed. You have a nice energy. However, you're creating an, uh, uh, an unpleasant energy exchange with her because you're bringing in this belief system when you walk up to her. You're bringing in this belief system that it's, it always goes awkward for me. Uh, I've had so many ne multiple negative exchanges, I mean, a lot of negative feedback that I'm not good at this or that I come off creepy when I approach a woman. So then when you approach a woman, you're super hypersensitive to that. She can feel that. And then she picks it up. And then you pick up that she picks it up because you're super hypersensitive and then the whole thing goes down from there. And that's a real phenomenon. It's I didn't make it up. And that's how it is. So that's why it's so important that we spend a little time uh, practicing the right thing to believe. The right, when I say to believe, what does that mean? Okay, I want to believe all the good things in the world. It's really what you should pay attention to. The first step really would be just to still our mind. So, um, what we're going to do maybe off camera here is a couple of minutes of, why don't we just do it here on camera? What's the difference? Here, uh, lean up against this wall. Let me get my matcha green tea. Uh, just lean up there and close your eyes. I want you to pay attention to your breath. As, yeah. it, as it's just, yeah, you don't even have to talk. I'll do all the talking. Just pay attention to your breath. And what that means is you're just going to watch it. You don't have to change it. You're just going to watch it go in and out and up and down. And just feel the air as it goes into your nostrils, down into your esophagus, down into your diaphragm. And just feel it as it comes back out, in and out, rising and falling and you just pay attention. And that's what meditation is, it's paying attention. And you're paying attention to your breath, which is your ultimate truth in a way. Mm -hmm. Keep your eyes closed, please. And it goes in, goes out, rises and falls. Now I want you to pay attention to the energy coursing through your left arm. There's a life force there in your left arm. It's always been there, mm -hmm. but now you can feel it. It's like electricity coursing through you. And now just make it in your left thumb. Just pay attention to the energy in your left thumb. Mm -hmm. And I want you to listen to the sounds. The furthest away sound you can hear. You hear the cars going by, you hear people chattering, you hear horns honking. What's the most distant sound you can hear? I feel like a, a it's feels. all for you. It's all for you. You just do it. You don't have to tell me. Just find it. Find it. Find it. And imagine you're there. Come back and pay attention to your breath as it goes in and out, 
as it's rising and falling. Now just open your eyes. And just take in the surroundings, you know. The way the sun's shining off the window, the way the girls are on the corner, the music's playing from that restaurant, wherever it's coming from. Do you feel a more sense of stillness after doing that? Which was like a minute long, maybe, I don't know exact time, but it was a short period of time on a street corner with a lot of people. No one even noticed, in New York's that way, no one noticed what you're doing. As long as you weren't throwing something at them, they're happy, you know? So, uh, so you can still your mind. That's the first thing we want to do because it's really the mind that's the problem. So if we clear the mind space and we just have a clear mind and you really just have that and you go and talk to people, it's like you're brand new. You're brand new. And then we have a belief system and our belief system is, is that our instincts are good. I have an instinct. I want to connect with her. I just want to connect for whatever reason, like I'm human, maybe it's sexual, maybe there's a physical attraction, maybe it's uh, just she looks like someone I have to talk to, maybe she just fits the archetype of beauty in my mind and I'm just drawn to her. Maybe it's just a moment and I just want to say hi and, I know, and my instincts are right. Also what's right is your intentions. Mm -hmm. You have intentions and they're good. You have intentions and they're good. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah, right? What are your intentions? Let me tell you, instead of asking you. Because right now you have intentions that are feeling opposite of your instincts. Your instincts are, I want to say hi, hello, right? These are your instincts. But then your intentions come in and say, oh, I might be bothering her. She's gonna think, uh, she, uh, she's gonna think I'm taking from her. I feel creepy. This is creepy. It's creepy to talk to people. It's creepy to flirt with women in everyday places. So you have a, two rams going at each other, instincts and intentions. And therefore, you're a good man. You like to see yourself as a good man. And now your intentions are saying, if I do that, I'm a bad man. So now I'm good. I, I have basically the, the force of nature coursing through my veins. And then I have this over-socialized, analytical mind uh, telling me my nature is wrong and if I follow it I'm a bad man I'm a bad man and then I go then I do it anyway because nature wins but I bring all the shit that this over analytical mind has with me and then I just then it kind of shits on the parade it ruins the beautiful moment you know so we want to re recenter our, what our intentions actually are our intentions are a hundred percent aligned with our instincts our intentions are to connect, and that's what we're here to do. Our intentions are to give to her, not take from her. To share with her, not take from her. To receive from her, not take from her. To give, receive, and share in pleasure. To give, to receive, and share in pleasure. These are our intentions. Not to harm, not to take, not to get. What kind of pleasure, John? Oh, I don't know, it's like pleasurable if I just say hi to someone and they giggle and laugh and come out of their mind. It's pleasurable if I give someone a compliment that's genuine and they, and they receive it and it's like, wow, someone saw me for a second here on earth. Thank you. It's pleasurable if we have an, a, a conversation where two people get to know each other and discover each other uh, on their way to p potentially making a, an amazing connection with each other. It's pleasurable if we do make a connection and we have an amazing embrace, a beautiful kiss, a mind-blowing sex, uh, we fall in love, we have a relationship. There's, this is a pleasure. And that's what we're here to, to potentially bring to anyone. Now even my friend that you just met, she's a friend that I met in a public place. And we have a lot of pleasure together. And it was a pleasure to say hi to her, and it's a pleasure to know her. Right? So, uh, any girl that I'm dating in my life, I met in real life. And it was a pleasure to, it may have been an awkward pleasure, it may have been awkward uh, getting to the pleasure. At times it is awkward. You know, being, meeting new people can be a little awkward, right? Breaking through all the social norms and barriers can be awkward. But we're getting to a good place. We're getting to the place that two human beings could possibly be connected. 
you bring that every time you walk up. So that, so listen, if you gotta get burned a couple times in the way while you learn this, if you have to feel these shitty emotions, it sucks. But it's part of the process of getting rid of these, these uh, limiting beliefs, these emotions, these feelings that aren't true, of get, that you have, to, you have to experience the lies to know that these are lies. Mm -hmm. and, and, you, and to know the pain of, that these lies have caused you and destruction in your life. You have, you've experienced them and you have to let them go now because they're not serving you. You're a cool person. You really are. I met you. You're cool. You're interesting. Women will like you. Uh, you're not weird. You're not a weirdo. I mean, as far as I know, right? All right. So, uh, all right. So what I want to do now is just kind of take this mindset of it's my job also. There's no way out of this job. We already know that. Uh, she's not going to do it. I know. I know. Yes, you can, but you're not. So uh, that's all there is to it. I'm, so far, no one's stopped me today at all. And, I'm, and I got a really cool jacket on. Yeah. Now, one person said this is the most amazing jacket I've ever seen. Right? Uh, yeah, probably. So are we ready? Uh, we're going to go talk to some people. All right? And then um, we're just going to practice that. All right. Let's cut it for a moment. <laughs>